Hello and welcome to Techie Hive. In this video, I will talk about top Java interview questions. As you know, uh, Java is the most popular programming language for developing enterprise applications. Approximately uh, 3 billion devices run Java applications today. So keeping this in mind, we have created this video series to share our 25 years of experience in Java development to help developers to crack the Java interview. So without any delay, let's jump into it straight away. Here is the first most frequently asked Java interview questions. What is the difference between an abstract class and an interface? Can you explain how default method in an interface makes the interface backward compatible? This question initially looks very simple, but through this question, interviewer wants to know that you have good understanding of Java interfaces and classes. On high level, Java abstract class is a class that cannot be instantiated and can contain both abstract methods without implementation and a regular method with implementation. So that means you cannot instantiate or you cannot create objects of an abstract class. They are uh, mainly used for further extension. It is used when several, several related classes share common behavior and common states. So here abstract classes are used to share common behavior and common states. That's a very important point among the related classes. So abstract classes are used to share common behavior and common state among the related classes. That's a very important point over here. On the other hand, a Java interface is a contract that defines a method that a class must implement. So it defines a blueprint that a, that a class has to follow. Typically, uh, interface contains abstract methods, although in modern Java allows default and static methods as well. In like since Java 8, you can have static, private, and default methods in Java. But before Java 8, only abstract methods are allowed in an interface. So interfaces are used to specify behaviors that different unrelated classes can share. Here again, you can you have to note it down that interfaces are used to share the behavior or to implement the behavior of different or unrelated classes where java abstract classes are used for related classes they have some relation like child parent but in the case of interfaces the classes implementing the contract may be uh, related or may not be related that's a point you have to understand uh, here is the list of the differences between abstract class and interfaces and Abstract class is used to share common behavior and uh, state among the subclasses. Subclasses means classes are related, like uh, parent and child. On the other hand, uh, interface uh, is used to define a blueprint or the contract that uh, uh, multiple classes can implement. And this class, these classes may not be you know similar. They can have a different. They are not. You know, they may not be related to each other. Next difference is abstract class can have uh, abstract methods and also concrete methods. So that means abstract class can have a method definition or you know a method without definition. On the other hand, traditionally all of the methods of interface are abstract. They don't have any definition. But since Java 8, uh, default and static methods are allowed in interfaces to share the common behavior uh, an abstract class can have variables that means an abstract class can have state that we that we were talking about right that they share the common state as well but in the case of uh, uh, interface all of the you know uh, variables are constant they are final and static so all implementing class will have access to them and can use them. So all, all of the static variables are shared among the implementing classes. 
in the case of abstract class yeah a class can extend only one abstract class so multiple inheritance is not allowed in the uh, abstract in the case of abstract class so a class can only can only inherit or can only extend one abstract class but in the case of uh, in the case of interface yeah interface allows multiple inheritance means a class can implement multiple interfaces or an interface can extend multiple in multiple interfaces so they allow multiple you know inheritance so we will use class means abstract class when classes share common state or behavior and we will use interface when unrelated classes need to follow the same contract so this is the brief summary of the differences between uh, an abstract class and uh, and interface let's move to the default methods of the interface uh, java 8 introduced uh, default methods and uh, static methods along with the private methods in the interface that means uh, before java 8 all of the methods of the interface are abstract they won't have any definition and all of the classes implementing that interface has to you know implement those methods but uh, in java 8 a default methods got introduced and the reason these methods got introduced was the uh, interface extended extendability because uh, there might be some requirement that uh, you know we have some interface and we want to extend that interface for some other requirement in that case we need to you know add new methods to the interface so if we add a new method to the interface then all of the classes of that interface or the the classes implementing that interface you know need to be uh, you know updated to implement that uh, new method so that means uh, like before java 8 we cannot extend an interface without updating the you know implementing classes but uh, after uh, default method got introduced we can extend an interface easily so default method means uh, now uh, interface can have method definition let's say we have uh, an interface which has been implemented by several classes and now code is in production and now we cannot update that code but on other side there is a requirement to extend the same interface we want to add one more method or abstract method to the interface in that case the old code will break will not work because uh, you know uh, if we have that a uh, new abstract method in the in interface then they have to implement that right so if we add default method to an interface then existing class don't need to implement that so automatically that default method will be used by those uh, classes so adding default method in interface making the interface extendable, extendable without you know breaking the old code so this is the main reason uh, default method was introduced in java so that uh, interface can be extended and uh, the existing code will not break let's uh, go to the uh, code example and see uh, see how we can implement the default method and also how we can just go to the uh, you know how can we create the abstract classes so here i have created uh abstract class and uh, interface so let's say we have uh, for example we have a vehicle so he, let, first we'll go to the abstract class right so this abstract class has two you know two or three methods here you can see one is abstract method one is protected method which is uh, you know already implemented and then we have the you know extract method which also implemented so two methods got implemented and one method is abstract okay so this method needs to be uh you know implemented by the subclasses and the here is you know state so as i said that uh, you know abstract class can have a state right so here is the state so all of the classes 
or the subclasses of this vehicle class will have this state over there right so let's go to the uh, you know classes which we have derived from the vehicle so here we have this one so you can see bike vehicle so here we have to implement uh, we have to implement drive method here because it, this is this is the this is the abstract method inside the vehicle class so it's very simple here right we have the bike and we have implemented that class and uh, now you can see that uh, you know we have extra method inside the bike for a special which is especially uh, for bike and uh, you know other other methods are inherited let's go to the car here simply here uh, we have we have inherited all those you know, two methods like accelerate and you know get speed in the vehicle sorry in the car and also we have you know added extra functionality over here extra method and extra state so that means here the bike and car are sharing this this state speed and also they are defining their own state so that means these two classes are sharing a state from the abstract class and uh, yeah, and the important thing is that they, they are related, right? So car is vehicle, bike is vehicle. So that means they are they are related. Okay. So on other hand, if you go to the interface here, let's see we have interface movable. Right? And the movable interface is that okay, there is a move abstract method which we need to implement. Or the all the classes implemented in this interface will implement this interface right so let's take you an example of human here so what we have done here we have just implemented that interface here and we have just defined the behavior so because human behavior is different from the you know other kind of you know objects let's say cloud here so here we have the cloud cloud behavior is the cloud move cloud also move human also move but they move their own way okay they are not same so here move interface is implemented by unrelated classes so human is not cloud cloud is not human but they are movable so that means interface defines a contract that can be implemented by several classes now let's add one abstract method to this you know a movable class here for example let's say we adding test method here void test okay and now we have added this one now see when we added this method here both of the cloud and uh, you know human classes they got broken see here they got broken because we have added one f set method over here so if we want to extend this interface without changing the existing class cloud and you know human so for that java 8 introduced default method i can have here default and then i can just provide a definition here for this one let's say it's just empty definition okay or you can just have this definition over here like this i think that too sorry okay now see so now i have extended this interface with the new you know uh, operation new method and now you can see here these class are now okay the issue is gone that means uh, we can extend an interface without breaking the existing code okay that's all i wanted to cover in this video hope you like it see you in the next video